Hi, I'm Marin, and this is Post-its and Pens. Hello, and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marin, and here you will find a little beauty, a little books, and a little teaching content. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and join me in my little corner of YouTube. Today's video is going to be an updated what's in my teacher bag video, but it's going to be my summer STEM certificate edition. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So I did film one of these videos last year. I will link it up above, but I decided I would do like an updated one to show you what I am carrying to class each day as I work towards my STEM certificate. So I'm taking a two week course through a local university. We have class every day from 8.30 to four-ish. And this is what I'm bringing with me to class. So in the previous what's in my bag video, I was able to link the bag itself. It is still on sale um, at Target. I'll link it down below, but the bag that I am carrying to my class is this one right here. It is a tote bag, so it has handles. It's got a zipper, which I don't have zipped because I've got this pretty full. This is not on sale anymore. I believe I got this back in 2017, 2018 maybe. So this is not available anymore. I did get it from Target, but you know, just keep that in mind. So I can't link the bag. I probably can't link too much of the stuff inside because some of it's kind of old as well. But I will let you know what it is and link what I can below. So hopefully that will be good enough. Anyway, we are going to start off just looking at the bag itself. So this is a tote bag. It does have a pocket, a zipper pocket on the back. I do not have anything in that. It is where I could keep my phone, but I keep my phone out. Inside we have one zipper pocket and then two like pockets that don't have a, anything to close them. You just slide it in. So I'm going to just go through, show you what I've got in here. There's quite a lot of stuff. This bag does hold a decent amount of stuff as you can see and we'll just roll through it. So here we go. So first of all, we're going to start off. I do have a water bottle. It's just a metal water bottle, reusable water bottle. I actually bring two water bottles with me to class. I have this one, which holds almost a full bottle of water, but not quite. And then I have a bigger one that holds like 32 ounces, I believe. Um, that one's in the kitchen being washed, but I did get it from Simple. It's a Simple Modern water bottle. I can link it down below. This one came from Nordash, N-O-R-D-A-C-E, which um, was a company that I ordered a new carry-on backpack from and I got this as well so again it's linked I do like this one it keeps it nice and cold I prefer a straw as you can see this one doesn't have that but it works it's fine it's a water bottle and it fits nicely in my bag so that's the first thing I have in here the second thing is an umbrella I got this one at Disney World back in 2017 I think as well um, I just have it because they've been predicting rain like every day that I've been in my class and just in case I need it, it's in there. Then we're going to get into like content. So stuff that I'm needing for my class. So I do have a notebook. Um, this I got off Amazon years ago. It's very cute. So if you can see, it's like color coded on the side, which I like. Obviously, you're taking a class, you need to be able to take notes. So I have my notebook. And I have, now this I did pull out of my teacher backpack. This is a holder for like five different file folders because I wasn't sure if I would have to like have printouts of articles or whatever. So um, it looks like this. I carry this in my backpack every day to work, although I hardly used it like I liked it before because when I was grading papers I could keep them like separated by subject but with kindergarten I'm not doing very much grading at all so this wasn't really very useful but um, 
I do have it in here just in case. My guess is it's something that I will not be carrying over into next year though. So there you go, there's a tip. Uh, probably don't need like the five subject folders for kindergarten, just saying. All right, the next thing I bring every day is my computer. This is my personal computer. So I do have a school computer, but it is massive and it's really heavy. This one is so much lighter. So I do bring this every day. I also bring the charging cord, but it's plugged in in the living room. I totally forgot to grab that. So I do also bring the charger just in case I need to charge the computer, but it's been holding the battery well enough where I haven't actually needed to charge it, but that is also in here. So um, pretend that I'm pulling that out and showing it to you. Okay, next up, I do have my wallet, obviously can't really go anywhere without your wallet. So I do have my wallet. This is from Kate Spade and it just looks like this. It has some card slots and where I'm covering up is my where my license goes. And then it's got two pockets. So it's got a pocket right here and then it's also got a pocket on the other side as well. And it's got a little change or cash holder. So, you know, there you go. My wallet. It's nice and small. I do really like this. I've had this for a while as well, but it works for me. Okay, next up I have a 10 pack of Crayola markers. We do this activity where she gives us like um, some like unfinished lines and then you have to turn those lines into something else. So I wanted some markers so that I could color my picture in because sometimes I'm a little extra. So I went ahead and picked these up, put them in there. I've been bringing those. I also have my planner. This is a personal planner. So it just looks like this. It's got B's on the front and it says 22 for 2022. It, this is from, I think it's Bloom, um, but don't quote me on that. If I can find it again, it's linked down below. Yeah, Bloom. So there's the stickers. But um, yeah, personal planner so I can keep track of assignments and things like that. I also have my computer mouse. This is a Bluetooth mouse, which will connect to the Mac. So I have that. And I needed headphones for class on Friday because we were playing around with coding. So I have my AirPods that I brought along as well. So that was also in there. I don't bring these every day. We just needed them for Friday. Okay, next up, I have a bottle of Excedrin because the classroom that we are in is very, very bright and it gives me a headache. I've left with a headache pretty much every single day of the class, so Excedrin. And then I have a little pouch here. In this pouch, I have a bunch of different like makeup and like personal care stuff, so I'll run through it really quickly. I have a hand lotion or a hand cream, a thing to wipe my glasses off with because my glasses like attract dirt like nobody's business. I have a little thing of tissues, a lip balm. This is from Blistex. I have a little tube of the Glossier Mint Balm.com, which you can also use for lip balm. A lipstick. This is from L'Oreal. The color is burnished blush 906 burnished blush so that's just the lipstick i keep in there just in case you never know some blotting sheets which just look like this i am very oily so you know need to be able to do that i have a powder this is the becca blotting powder perfector becca's gone out of business so you probably can't get this anymore um, I also have this Maybelline Dream Cushion in case, you know, my makeup's looking a little rough, particularly with allergy season, needing to blow your nose. You know, this can be helpful to uh, reapply a little bit and not make it look ridiculous. I do have a little eyeshadow brush and I have a, what is this, a emery board, right? Isn't that what it's called? An emery board for my nails. And then I have a little tiny makeup sponge, just in case, you know, you need to do some touch-ups. I have these like dental floss little things that come in this little container. And I have two hair ties. And then I've got some cough drops, which need to be thrown away because they're sticky. So um, one minute, let me throw those away and then we will move on to the next thing. And then I have this little clear bag 
I just got this from Target in their like makeup section. I don't know what brand it is, but um, it's a nice little thing so that I can see where everything is and not have to go digging around. So all of those things go in that bag. All right, the next thing I have is a set of Duplo blocks. So Duplo is um, Lego for smaller kids and I have six of them in six different colors because each day we start off with an activity called six bricks where she asks us to do something with the bricks and this is something that I am hoping that I can bring into my classroom next year because I think the students would really really love it. It's like a way to wake your brain up so kind of like a way to start your day off each day so I'm hoping that I can kind of include this in my class next year. I will link the six bricks information and stuff down below in case you're a teacher and would like to check it out as well. I've really enjoyed the activities we've done so far and you could do a lot more than what we've done as well and these could be for any grade level. So there you go check it out if it sounds at all interesting but this is the bag that they that she gave us to keep them in so that they don't get mixed up with all of our classmates and that's that. I keep that in my bag because we need it every day. Okay, we're almost finished. I do have in this little zipper pocket inside, I've got this like hotel stationery from when I went to Nashville in 2019, I believe. So um, that's just in there. And I have the pen <laughs> that goes with it as well. Um, I just found that in there and decided to leave it in there. Then I do have some actual pens and highlighters and things that I use for my class. So I do have two mild liners. I have an orange and a blue. I have a pink, um, just a click pen. I have a mechanical pencil and I have just a black ink pen. This is the Bic Atlantis ink pen. Somebody, I, Sydney, I think Sydney um, on booktube, she was talking about the pens she used to annotate her books and she mentioned how these were her favorite and I, I'm kind of a pen connoisseur and like had never tried these. These are really good y'all. If you just want like a basic black click pen, this is a really good one. I like how smooth it writes. I'm a fan. So glad I picked those up on her recommendation. And that's all the writing utensils that I bring along with those markers. There is a big like bucket of markers. So, you know, if we need anything else, we can just borrow it from the classroom. Lastly, I have a lip gloss. This is from my June makeup basket. This is the ColourPop lip gloss in New Day. It's the ultra glossy lip. If you watched that makeup basket, you saw me pick this out. I'll link it up above in case you're curious, but that's in there. I also have some gum. And then I have a bunch of these like hand sanitizing wipes, which I picked up at like the airport in Nashville I believe and they were just all in here and so I've just left them in there but there's a ton of them they're like a whole big stack of them so those are in there and then last but not least of course you know COVID I have a sanitizer so I have a little hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works and that is what's in my bag so there's the bag empty as you can see, it holds a lot of stuff. Now it's heavy, like let, let's not pretend that it's not. It is heavy with all of that in there, but I do like that I can just slip it over my shoulder when I'm heading to class and not have to worry about an actual like big backpack, mostly because sometimes my backpacks can like dump over or tip. This does not tip over, it holds its shape because it's got this nice wide flat bottom and it's worked really well. So that's why I kind of went along with this one. Now, I do have a little keychain on here. It says, love yourself first. It's from the Coach and Selena Gomez collection. Honestly, I just liked the star because it matched the pattern of the bag. But yeah, that's my bag. Let me stick everything back in it and then we'll wrap this video up. And that's it. That is a look at what is currently in my teacher bag summer STEM class edition, if you will. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.